Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, what I'm gonna be talking about is my top programming tips for beginners. Now I get the same questions asked all the time. Tim, I'm a beginner programmer, I need some help, what should I do? Uh, how can I move from those beginner levels to the intermediate levels? What kind of projects should I work on? What should I be focusing on? And hopefully I can answer some of those questions here for you guys today. So before I get too far into the video, let me just tell you guys a little bit about myself so you know where I'm getting some of these tips and some of this information from. So my name is Tim, I'm 18 years old, and I just finished my first year of computer science. Now I've been teaching and just doing programming videos on this YouTube channel, Tech with Tim, for probably about the past two years, and I've interacted with hundreds if not thousands of you guys throughout the comments or discord twitter and instagram and i see a ton of beginners that want tips and need some help in terms of improving their programming ability other than that i actually teach programming in a classroom to kids aged between 11 and 15 years old so i just teach them the basics of python and throughout a week we create a very basic game but those are where i see a lot of beginner programmers as well and where i'm going to be grabbing a lot of my tips from now, other than that, I also do some private tutoring on the side and some consultations and stuff like that. So I have a lot of experience, not only just with like friends and knowing people that program, um, but actually teaching it as well. And this is where I'm going to come into some of the tips here and hopefully allow you guys to, uh, you know, improve your programming from that beginner level to the intermediate level and the steps you need to take to get there. So programming tip number one. Do not be afraid to make mistakes and to experiment with things you don't know. Now this is the most important by far on my list of programming tips and it's something that I see so commonly with beginner programmers or that is that they're really afraid or even upset or embarrassed when they make mistakes with their code. Something you gotta learn and that you will realize quickly in programming is no one really knows what they're doing when we get down to things. Any program you write is gonna have bugs, there's gonna be mistakes, and there's gonna be errors. Ask any programmer that you look up to, even myself maybe, and say, how many times do you make a mistake when you're coding? And if you expect that answer to be zero, you're gonna be wildly surprised when they tell you that almost half the time, probably more than they're coding, they're fixing their mistakes and trying to figure out where they went wrong. Now, the wonderful thing about making mistakes is if you actually really care about learning programming and figuring out what is wrong, if you go through and you analyze that mistake and take your time and figure out what you did wrong and fix it, not only the kind of joy and feeling you get for fixing that mistake and being like, all right, finally, after two hours, I found that bug, but you're never gonna forget that again. Or if you do, you're gonna slightly remember the steps you took to fix that mistake. And if it happens again in another program, you're gonna be like, hey, hey, I remember this. This one I was stuck on for a long time this was the issue, or this is kind of what I did to get to that issue, so maybe this will help me here. And that's personally one of the ways that I learn new modules in Python or just code in general. What I do is literally go in my Python console and just start typing stuff and seeing what happens. I would much rather see red text that confirms, you know, you don't know what you're doing, go back and fix it, than type a few lines and not really know what I'm doing and have the output come out okay. So please guys, don't be afraid to see those error messages. If you do see one, rather than just copying and pasting your code into Stack Overflow, why don't you go look at that error message, analyze it, and figure out what's going wrong with your program, because I guarantee you, if you do that, you're gonna remember that mistake, and in, in the future, you're gonna be like, oh, I came out, I saw this one before, and you'll know how to fix that. So that's programming tip number one. Please, 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 if you get one thing from that video, don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's the only way you're truly gonna learn and be able to validate whether you know what you're doing or not. Okay, programming tip number two, and this one comes really nicely from the last tip we talked about. Please read your error messages. That is programming tip number two. Now, for some reason, beginners think that when they click the F5 button to run their code or whatever it is, and they see red text, they're done. They say, okay, well, that, I guess I gotta go back right back to the code and start trying things until eventually I see the output that I want, which is just working some print statements, whatever it is. No, no, no. When you click F5 and you run the code and that error message pops up, you better read every line of that error message and make sure you understand what mistake you made and why you made it. Now, not only are error messages super useful and actually designed to help programmers and to help you figure out what's wrong with your code, but learning to read error messages is a skill that you have to master if you ever wanna go beyond a beginner programming level. Now, I say this in a really frustrated way just because teaching I see so often, uh, especially the younger kids that I teach in the classroom, that just come to me with their laptop and they go, Tim, it doesn't work. And I say, 
Before I even look at their laptop, I say, okay, so what have we tried? Like, what's the goal of the program? And I break it down with them. And usually after about a minute or two of me talking and saying, okay, so let's get into this error message and actually analyze it together, they figure out on their own without me telling them whatsoever uh, what the error is in their code. And I say, look, I'm happy to help you guys out, but please just read the error messages before you come up because if you do that, you're probably gonna be able to figure out what's wrong with your code and you're gonna save both of us a lot of time. Now. That's what I'm saying as a tip here. Please read your error messages. Some of them are complicated and I understand that as a beginner, you'll see some words in there that you don't really know what they mean or you're kind of confused by them. But even at the minimal, just seeing what line number something went wrong at and taking a quick peek maybe at your code at that line and seeing if you can find the bug because many times, especially in simple programs, the errors are very, very simple. Maybe a typo, maybe you've got a bracket and you can really easily go back and fix them and save yourself a lot of time rather than having to go to Stack Overflow and copy it in and get someone else to help you with that question. So please do yourself a favor, read your error messages. Even if you don't understand them, read every single one because you will start to learn from those error messages and when you see similar ones, well, you're gonna know how to fix them because you've already came up with that solution by learning from making mistakes and all that. All right, programming tip number three, work on projects. Now, I know a lot of people get very upset when I tell them to work on projects because the first thing they say to me is, well, I don't know what to work on. I don't have enough skills. There's no projects I can do. Guys, it doesn't matter what project you work on. It doesn't matter if your project makes any sense whatsoever. It doesn't matter if your project is printing two lines of code. When I say work on projects, I mean, do something by yourself where you're not referring to a video guide or a website or a tutorial of some sorts. Don't get me wrong. I literally make a living by making Python and programming tutorial videos. So if you guys all stop watching my tutorials, then that's really gonna suck. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying go learn the basics, get the fundamentals down, understand what's happening. And then as soon as you're comfortable, stop maybe for a day or for an hour or 20 minutes and work on something by yourself and try to program something and see if you really understand it. It's really easy, even for someone like me, to go on a really advanced programming tutorial, uh, just copy down the code with them and be like, this guy's explaining it well, it makes sense. And then as soon as I'm actually on my own and I have to apply those concepts by myself, I'm like, hmm, I don't really understand it that well. And then I have to go back and watch the video again, or I have to try to figure out you know, where my understanding is lacking. So please don't do the one month uh, stretch of just going through tutorial videos and copying down all the projects and being like, this is what I made, this is cool. That's great and following along with project videos is awesome. It's literally how I make a living. But I would love for you guys you know, to do your own projects where you can validate really what you know and what you don't know. And I'll tell you right now, if you start working on your own projects, something that a lot of YouTubers and personally me myself do, is I cut out where I make like massive mistakes in a video. So if I'm recording a video and I make some like pretty critical errors that take up a lot of time in the video, I'll just cut them and go to the next part where I fix the mistake. Now that is a really valuable part of programming that obviously is not entertaining to watch, but it's something that you should definitely be experiencing. And if you can work on your own projects, you're gonna realize really quickly how many mistakes you're running into and Learning from those mistakes, again, by not being afraid to make mistakes, is going to help you improve your programming ability tremendously, especially being able to do your own research and look things up and just, you know, doing programming on your own is something you definitely need to do as a beginner, and you're not going to get anywhere from just simply watching programming videos online. All right, guys, so my final tip, and this one should really go without saying, have fun with what you're doing. I see so many people that get caught up in the stress and the debugging and kind of the negative aspects of coding maybe, and they forget about why they're doing it in the first place. The whole reason that I code is because I love to do it. I'm not doing it so I can go get a nice high paying job or so I can show off to my friends or have a killer resume. All those things are great, but at the end of the day, you shouldn't be programming and putting as much time as you do into it if you don't absolutely love what you're doing. So try to pick areas of programming that you enjoy, try to go into routes that you're passionate about, and doing that is not only going to make you even better because you're going to be so passionate about learning and just figuring out new things and solving problems, but it's just a way better use of your time. Why sit in front of a computer eight hours a day if you do something that you hate? So if you're a beginner programmer and you're starting to realize that you really don't enjoy it, you know, don't feel like you have to keep going with that route. I would encourage you to try different things and find areas where maybe you might enjoy them a bit more before you give it up. But if you're really at the point where you don't like what you're doing, 
then just stop. There's nothing telling you to keep going. And I know that the starting salaries for computer scientists or software engineers are very high compared to other fields, but it's not worth it if you're not gonna be enjoying what you're doing. And the opposite as well. If you enjoy what you're doing, double down, keep going. Don't think that just because you're a beginner, you can't create some awesome stuff and make some cool projects and try different things and build AI and do all this awesome stuff. If you enjoy it, keep doing it and keep working towards it. And you're gonna notice really quickly that that passion shows off and you can tell in any videos you watch or just people you see, whether they're passionate about what they do uh, and what they're not. And typically the people that like what they do are the best at it, at least in my opinion. So anyways, that has kind of been this. We're gonna go into a quick recap here, but I'd love to know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. So please, you know, communicate with me down there. So with that being said, let's do a quick recap here at the end of the video, just to tell you guys the tips one more time. So tip number one, do not be afraid to make mistakes and to experiment with things. Super important, if you only get one tip from the video, that's the one you should definitely be listening to. Tip number two, read your error messages. Again, super important. This goes right with the first point. If you actually wanna progress in programming, you have to make sure you understand where you're going wrong and how you can fix that and maybe do a little bit more work on that. Tip number three, work on projects and just do your own coding without following online tutorials. Online tutorials are great and they help you learn a ton, but once you've been through enough of them, it's time to sit down by yourself for even just half an hour and try to create something on your own. And very quickly you'll realize how much you know and how much you don't. And the final tip, and you know what this is what they say at the end of every sports game, right? Have fun. At the end of the day, why are we programming? If your answer is just to get a job, you should really consider switching your profession or doing something else because programming is such a rewarding field when you enjoy what you're doing and personally for me a lot of people look at me like i'm insane when i go program for like six seven hours at a time i love doing that and there's nothing honestly that i'd rather be doing in a lot of cases so please pick something that you're having fun with if you don't like web development try game development if you don't like game development try something else try doing ai and just taste a bunch of different stuff until you figure out what you enjoy and then stick with that because at the end of the day the whole point of this, at least for me, is to have fun and to challenge myself mentally because I really enjoy programming and coding and that's what you guys should be doing as well, especially if you're a beginner just getting into the field. So anyways, I apologize if I rambled a little bit in this video. I just really do and am passionate about this because I see so many people that are young programmers with such amazing potential that don't follow kind of some of the tips that I outlined here and end up either not pursuing programming or not going as far as I know they can. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video and share it and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I will see you guys.